How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? All right, going back to the 2022 NHL Draft prospects, we are revisiting a player we looked at much earlier in the season, Matthew Savoy. A forward that plays both center and wing for the Winnipeg Ice in the WHL. Quickly, before we get into Matthew Savoy, I want to give a shout out to Mike. We have had tremendous support from you guys and want to thank you guys for making the Rubbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join the discussion with lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So going back to Savoy, he racked up 35 goals, 55 assists for 90 points in 65 games played, before adding on 6 goals, 6 assists for 12 points in 10 WHL playoff games, and before being eliminated by Sebastian Kosa and his Edmonton Oil Kings, and he was a leader for their offense and was their regular season scoring leader. There is no doubt Savoy is an offensive threat. His skills bleed power play performer. High-end skill, lethal shot, agility, and crossover abilities that will make him dangerous in transition and will force the defense on their heels and a high hockey IQ that will make unreal plays when you least expect it. His passing ability, along with his lethal shot, makes him a deadly asset in the offensive zone and definitely on the power play. Not to mention, despite his short stature, standing at 5 feet 9 inches, 179 pounds, he usually plays with a chip on his shoulder and doesn't shy away from board battles, and surprisingly wins more than you would expect. His feet never stop moving and never quits on a play. This helps with his abilities in the defensive zone, and as a winger, he can definitely be an asset. As a center, his abilities in the faceoff circle is not where you would want it to be for his age, but he could very well develop that skill further with another year in juniors and in the AHL. So what are other people saying about him? Coming from the Hockey Writers Draft Prospect Profile of Matthew Zavoy, he talks about his speed and agility, saying, Evidence of his superior skills was on display in the on-ice testing portion of the CHL-NHL Top Prospects game on March 23rd, when Savoy led all 36 Canadian Hockey League skaters in 30-meter forward with the puck, weaveability with puck, transition agility, and reaction with puck drills. Clearly, he's one of the best skaters in the draft when it comes to the top CHL players. Also coming from The Athletic, there isn't a player in this draft class whose game thrills more than Savoy's. Inside the offensive zone, he is lethal. He's got extremely quick side-to-side -side hands that help him beat defenders one-on-one -on -one off of cuts. He's got an NHL shot, which he can place with pinpoint accuracy from a bad angle and rip by a goalie clean from a distance, but he also loves to change up and slide five hole. He's excellent in traffic because of his craftiness and maneuverability into scoring spots. He's a standout skater with underrated, I can't stress this enough, explosiveness that allows him to win races and separate in transition. The last one coming from Matthew Soma at Smart Hockey, Savoy is like a gnat in the offensive zone. He's always busting around, and no matter how many times you swat at him, he won't go away. You can't stop Savoy from making plays in the offensive zone. You can only hope to contain him. He'll pester you on the forecheck, create turnovers, attack the puck, and constantly keeps his feet moving. Part of what makes Savoy so much fun to watch is that it seems as if he's never content with standing around. He has to move around, and keeps changing the angles and lanes for the defense slowly wearing them down until they make a mistake and he can strike. Once again, just emphasizing his abilities that make him such an offensive threat and a playmaker, and undoubtedly a huge power play performer. So is he a good fit for the Wings, and could they draft him at 8th overall? As for where the Red Wings stand, the biggest need is high-end forwards and centers. While Savoy doesn't exactly fit that center need, he is a very good forward and winger, that could certainly make any line dangerous, and the bigger thing for the Red Wings is his ability should help revitalize the power play, something they have been trying to fix for a number of years now. So is he a good fit for the Wings? Absolutely, and honestly I feel like he could find some chemistry with Zadina, and these two could form a dangerous pairing on the second line. Will he be there at number 8? A lot of rankings having him around the fifth selection, but his size may play a factor since typically small players fall down the draft board 
a lot. Think of Marco Rossi, Cole Caulfield, Alex Dobrynkit. So it's not out of the realm of possibilities that Savoy could fall to the wings at eight. What do you guys think? Should the Red Wings select Matthew Savoy? Is he the right selection for the Red Wings? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed and created to be a community of Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. If you like this channel and want to support the channel, make sure you check out our Etsy store. And until next time, Lights on the Red Light District.